<laughs> far, so I don't care how old you are. I don't care. Nice fish. <laughs> Another dock bass. is I'm actually using a technique that I used to call grubbing. And the reason I called it grubbing is because I used to use just a jig head with say a swimming grub tail, just that um, traditional grub style curly tail. And what I would do is on guide trips, I would just have my clients rig a jig, say an eighth or a quarter ounce jig with a grub. And we would simply go down the shorelines or shallow bays like we're in today early in the season when the fish are up shallow and we would just cast and swim the grub back. But you know what? A swim bait, like the coarse swim bait that we're throwing today is a bait that actually seems like it gets bit even a little bit better than that grub. It's got great action going through the water and that action of that paddle tail does a great job of attracting fish of all species. Again, simple technique. All that you need is a spinning rod and reel, some braided line, I like braided line, long cast, good hook sets at the end of a long cast. Simply cast it out and you can swim it back on a steady retrieve and every once in a while you get around a fish and lots of times when you get around a fish with this technique, they can't resist it. The other thing about this technique is it catches fish of all species. That's why for a fishing guide like myself, it's a great technique because it's easy for people to fish. Cast it, reel it back, it's action fishing. By that I mean people are doing something. It's not like dragging around, say, a slip sink or live bait rig. This is an action retrieve. You cast it out, reel it back. It's a fun way to fish and folks, it simply gets bit. It catches fish of all species. I'm throwing the core swim bait and I'm actually gonna beef up a size. This bait comes in a two and a half, a three and a half, and this is the four and a half inch size. And that two and a half is a panfish catching machine. And it's also a bait that I love to use on a drop shot for smallmouth bass. But today this water is pretty off colored. We had a big blow yesterday. And so the water is very stained. We're in only about, about four feet of water here and I can't see bottom. So what I've done is I've actually gone to a bigger bodied bait, bigger profile, gives off more vibration, more kick from that bigger tail. See if we can't trigger a bite doing that. Oh, here we go. Yep. Ooh, this is a pretty good fish. I wonder what this is. That's the other thing about swim baiting. You never know, whatever it is, it does not want to come to the, ooh, look at there. Good head shake. Walleye bass, big pike. See what it is. Look at there. Come on, guy. He's wearing me out. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a pretty good walleye. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Look at there. Yes, sir. Oh boy, a little kick on there. There we go, look at there. Hey, 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 a swim bait walleye. You know what, folks? That is the Slurp Grub, the four inch impulse core swim bait, and that's a pretty good walleye. Simple technique, cast, retrieve, cover water, trigger active fish of all species. Hey, we hope you enjoy our Northland fishermen. If you do, give us a thumbs up, like us, and tune in again next week when we'll have more great fishing action.